Hi, uh, my name is Wei Hu, and I'm very happy to be here to share with you some of the exciting breakthroughs around blockchain technology for the enterprise. I'd like to start by discussing why you need, why we all need crypto secure data management. To start with, I'd like to talk about existing data security technologies. Today, the technologies that we have, like passwords, privileges, encryption, firewalls, and so forth, are really designed to keep criminals out. They're like, a, they're like a wall around your data. What blockchain does is to add an additional layer of data security. It protects data from being illicitly modified or deleted. Even if the criminals might manage to break in and bypass your existing security mechanisms. It does this by using cryptographic digests and signatures to implement crypto secure data management. Blockchain technology is compelling but difficult to implement. According to Deloitte survey, your blockchain remains as one of the top five strategic priorities. And the vast majority of respondents, 86%, say that blockchain offers a compelling business case. However, blockchain projects have a notoriously high failure rate. You know, as IDC says here, the complexity and the costs associated with blockchains, creation and maintenance are often seen as a barrier. We believe that to realize the potential of blockchain, it has to be much easier to implement. And that is what we're doing, okay? We're doing blockchain for the masses. Up to this point, blockchain has mainly been used to develop decentralized multi-party applications. Blockchain required new applications, new development methodologies, new data management products, and hardest of all, I think, new business processes by changing how companies operate. Oracle has now released breakthrough technology that deeply integrates blockchain into the Oracle database. This makes it possible to implement blockchain in mainstream enterprise and government applications with minimal application changes. This then provides the full functionality of the world's leading database on crypto protected data. This extends the benefits of blockchains beyond that of decentralized multi-party applications. Oracle blockchain really designed to prevent illicit changes to data. And really is we want to prevent the list change to the data that records important actions, assets, entities, and documents. Some examples of these things are contracts, property titles, payments, transfers, ledgers, account statements. Okay. These are the kind of data that must be preserved and never modified. And this is the kind of data that can be deleted only when it is obsolete. You have to protect it. And this is the kind of data where if you make illicit changes, they can have dire consequences. For example, if someone can modify the titles, you can lose assets. You expose a company to criminal to liability, right? There can be loss of reputation and so forth. Interestingly enough, Oracle crypto security is not limited to providing change ledgers. It can directly protect reference data as well. So this can protect more than ledgers, it can protect other general types of documents. When we look at security, there are two unavoidable problems. The first and the problem are hackers. You have to consider what happens if a hacker finds a way to bypass your existing security mechanisms. And the reality is obscure new security breaches are discovered all the time. The second and the vulnerability is or are users who are corrupt or compromised. And this is the case where, where your employees uses their valid credentials to make illicit data changes. And this can consist of either rogue insiders who are corrupt or malicious, administrators, developers, and so forth, or compromised users. You know, could be a criminal impersonated insider or end user. For example, a hacker may have used this credential stolen from a phishing attack to then act as if they were the authorized user. And the last case, the worst case, I think, is corrupt enterprises or government agencies. These are organizations that intentionally change records to steal assets or commit fraud. New security hacks are really unavoidable. Okay. In last year alone, there were 2,700 vulnerabilities published. Just last year, corrupt insiders are unavoidable. You know, here's an example of a bank teller who stole more than a million dollars over 10 years by falsifying bank records. Stolen insider credentials are unavoidable. You know, hackers gain access to Sony's networks after launching phishing attacks and then getting credentials of system engineers and network administrators. Even bribing of insiders is unavoidable. An employee at Tesla was offered half a million dollars 
doing certain malware into Tesla systems. Okay. To his credit, this employee reported a bribery attempt. So given this, we believe that you can never eliminate these vulnerabilities. However, we can limit the damage that they cause. Blockchain will not prevent your data from being stolen, but it does provide an additional layer of defense that can prevent the direct consequence of your data being changed. Consider, which is worse? Someone seeing my bank account or someone stealing the money from a bank account. So Oracle provides protection for many types of illicit changes, from illicit insider changes to illicit hacker changes, detecting authority order illicit changes, and to preventing impersonated data fraud. Our crypto security technologies can be adopted incrementally to protect against the types of illicit changes that are most important for each use case and application. And I think it's important to note that only illicit changes related to end user identity require significant application changes. Um, I just also want to mention that for simplicity, we highlight the primary attack for each protection technology, although each technology may protect it against other, other kinds of attackers also. To start with, I'd like to talk about preventing illicit changes by insiders, okay? or equivalently, criminals using insider credentials. And this is where immutable tables come in. And immutable tables, are designed to prevent illicit modification by insiders using a database, basically using SQL. For example, you know, a rogue employee or employee whose credentials were stolen, right, attempted to use SQL to execute changes to the database. An immutable table allows you to add new data to tables, but existing data cannot be changed or deleted by anyone using the database, okay, including database administrators. And immutable tables are very easy to, to use. You create an insert only immutable table by simply adding the immutable phrase to a table creation statement. So on the left hand side, you can see create immutable table and the rest is just as it goes. And it creates a table that, is, that cannot be changed. Okay. So what this does, it allows, this table can contain both relational data and JSON or log documents and structured data. And this is not restricted to ledgers. You can store reference data also, it's very general. An immutable table behaves like any other table, except the immutable table users cannot update or delete rows in this table, change the table definition from an immutable to immutable table, for example, convert an immutable table to an updatable or vice versa, and modify the metadata about the table in the data dictionary. The best thing about using immutable tables is that it requires no application changes because it just looks like a regular table. Okay. And this is available features available in 19C, 19.11, 21.3. The next level up is really detecting illicit changes by hackers. And this is where we apply the technology of cryptographic data chaining. We have now have to consider the case of what if the database software that infuse, enforces immutability is bypassed? So for example, if a hacker uses a new security vulnerability and bypasses all the security checks the database does to enforce immutable tables, okay? Another example could be a rogue or compromised system administrator who uses the operating system credentials to modify or bypass the database software. Blockchain allows us to detect changes to data by computing and safely storing a small cryptographic digest of the data. The idea is that if the data is changed, then the cryptographic digest of the changed data will differ from the previous digest, and that can be flagged. So this would detect an illicit change, even if attackers take over full control of the operating system database because you know, there's no level of privilege that you circumvent the math and the needs cryptography. Here's an example of uh, illustration of how blockchain tables work. A blockchain table is an immutable table that automatically chains new rows to existing rows cryptographically. You do it by simply adding the keyword blockchain to a table creation state. When it, a newly inserted rows have a cryptographic digest that is computed based on the new rows contents Right, like in this case, row four, plus a cryptographic digest of the previous row. Okay, so, so row three summary of the crypto digest. And then this forms a chain of crypto digest, which each row depends on its row contents as well as the crypto digest of the pre previous row. And what this does is form basically a chain of crypto cryptographic digests. And any modification to the data in a chain of rows breaks a cryptographic chain. Blockchain tables can be verified to be correct. And, and, and non tamper with. Chains can be verified by use by calling a built-in PLC code procedure, even best blockchain table and verify roles. And you just go through and verify, verify all the roles, cryptographic digests, and so forth. Right? 
Chains can also be independently validated without depending on the database. Okay. We've open sourced a library that can be run outside the database to read the chain data row by row and then verify the cryptographic digest. And what's nice is that an independent data auditor can validate the data. Like a financial, just like you have a financial auditor who can, who can validate account records, an independent validator can actually go through and validate information. And this really relieves the end user from doing this validation. Okay. And furthermore, this is also preserves data privacy since only the auditor needs to see the data of all the users to validate the chain. The blockchain table is extremely scalable and available. Okay. Blockchain tables are really fast. The response time of an insert into a blockchain table can be sub milliseconds. And that includes commit. It is also very scalable and available because it uses rack scale clusters and uses EdgeGuard for geographic disaster recovery. Immutable tables are also easy to use because they are part, they are features of the Oracle Converged database. You do not need to have a dedicated blockchain only database like Amazon's QLDB. This requires no application changes. You should just execute SQL against tables. And this supports the full analytics and transactions on table data. And I think Best of all, for many of our customers, this is a free feature of all the Oracle database editions. And blockchain tables are available in database 1910, 21C, and so forth. I would like now to talk about the next case, which is detecting cover-ups of illicit changes by authorities. And this is where we apply distributed publication of the data digest. Blockchain tables really relies on cryptographic chaining of rows. However, even that can be compromised by large-scale cover-up. Suppose someone managed to change the row and then they basically rewrite the entire chain of rows that comes after the row to cover up the change. That's an example of a large scale cover up. Okay. And this might happen because, for instance, a corrupt executive or government authority says to replace the contents of the database. Okay. That we really want to erase the record and cover it up. Right. Or it could be a sophisticated cybercrime organization that deletes and rewrites the database. We counteract this threat by distributing the blockchain digest. Okay. So what we do is our Oracle database enables the cryptographic digest of the table to be freely distributed publicly. The digest is cryptographically signed by the schema owner the database to ensure it cannot later claim to be fake. Okay. So you sign the, the, the cryptographic digest and this provides non-repudiation. So this says that this digest really came from the schema. The digest can be distributed periodically, like once every 10 minutes, or when important data is inserted. So you insert important data, you commit and you immediately publish the digest. And then authorized users can always validate that the digest chain is correct. It includes their recently inserted data, right? So after doing insert, after I do commit, I can come back later and I can see if the, if the digest is correct. Since the digest cannot be used to infer the actual data, because it's, it's not a reversible operation. It is safe to public distribute it anywhere, okay, including for instance, hosting it to an independent public store or blockchain. And you even send the, the digest up by email to a mailing list or rest. So distributing the blockchain digest, right, really gives you an additional level of security because if there is a cover-up, you can compare the previously distributed digest to the current table contents. And if they don't match, you know something bad has happened. And by distributing the digest publicly across multiple independent services, that really prevents an authority or cyber attack or be able to delete all the independent copies. For instance, I might delete a copy, send a copy to Facebook, to Twitter, <laughs> to whatever, right? And then a hacker would have to find all these sources to, 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 to really cover up the, the, the attack. And heterogeneous distribution, we think, provides stronger protection than a homogeneous, homogeneous distributed blockchain. And what's nice also is that publishing the data digest does not require changes to existing applications because this publication of the digest can be done by a separate process independent of the application code that is running. Right. So I want to talk about the fourth case, which is preventing data falsification by impersonators. And this is where end user data signing comes in. The concern we have is that it is possible that new data can be falsely inserted in an end user's name. For example, an insider uses internal information to impersonate an end user, or possibly an end user certificates or credentials are stolen by a hacker. A developer, operator, or hacker might bypass the application's credentials checking. To address these vulnerabilities, Oracle allows end users to optionally cryptographically sign new data that they insert. Now, this does require sophisticated users that have a digital identity and public certificate. So we think this is most common for businesses than for consumers. 
This also requires the applications implement digital signing of data. So the way this works is that end users will sign the data that they insert using their private key. And this private key being private is never passed to the database. Okay, so you can see that every single row now has a signature. Then the end user registers a public certificate. The digital certificate contains the public key to allow the database to validate the signature of the data. And we record the certificate ID in every single row. Then what happens is, you know, the signature and certificate ID are stored with a row that is written. So we can later come back and validate that the user really signed it. In addition, Oracle can countersign the new data and then return a signature to the end user to allow the user to know that their data was actually received by the database. And this really provides for what's really an end-to-end -end crypto receipt for new data. And this really prevents a middle tier from filtering certain data to pre prevent it from being recorded. So, so this prevents a case, for example, of an end user passing data to an intermediate application which steals the data and actually never send it to the database. By having this end-to-end -end crypto digest, we ensure that this kind of threat cannot happen. And this is also available in 19C and 21C. So at this point, I'd like to make a comparison of Oracle blockchain table with peer-to-peer -peer blockchain. A blockchain table with a publicly distributed signed digest is similar to use and provides most of the benefits of a full peer-to-peer peer -peer blockchain product. Blockchain tables prevent illicit changes made using the database and detects that these changes have bypassed the database. It is definitely the case that if you can directly prevent all forms of illicit changes, it provides stronger protection. However, in most cases, detecting a illicit change also indirectly prevents fraud because a criminal will not commit fraud if they know they will be caught. Now, it's almost like I would not take a bribe when, when a video camera is running, recording the operation. To truly prevent all illicit changes that bypass the database requires a peer-to-peer -peer blockchain architecture. That the way it works is that there is a consensus-based multi-party agreement with every change. So before I make a database update, I need to get third parties to agree with the update and everybody makes an update together. As you can imagine, so this works because it prevents the takeover of a single database from compromising the entire system. Because, not, because just because I get compromised, the other two databases may not be compromised. And so just, this prevents that case. However, peer-to-peer -peer is still vulnerable to a common bug across all the peers. Because then if, if a bug hits, hits this database, it would probably hit the other databases also. But harder than this is that peer-to-peer -peer consensus requires new application development methodologies. It's just much harder. And in my opinion, Consensus requires major changes to business processes and how businesses interact with customers and partners. Because now I can no longer act on my own. I have to get agreement from third parties about what I can do, right? And so consensus of this kind really requires sacrificing autonomy and privacy, right? Because you're exposing your business processes to third parties. We think that overall, peer to peer provides very effective illicit chain prevention but the expense of significant complexity and trade-offs for mainstream use cases. Use cases watching in the Oracle database. Because Oracle makes it so easy to adopt blockchain technology, it is now usable in every industry and in a majority of applications. Financial data, logistics data, education data, degrees, certificates, professional history, these are things that you don't want people to fake. Government data, illegal data, trial data, tax data, permits, these are things that, you, again, you don't want people to to tamper with. Corporate data, invoices, payments, contracts, employee, intellectual property, these are all things that you don't want people to, to tamper with. Okay, And again, you know, tampering with your data incurs legal liability, and so it's, it's pretty serious. Here are some examples of customers who have adopted our blockchain technology with their businesses. So for example, in the legal space, they store reports and auto logs of legally re relevant operations in the blockchain table for immutability. So they can be audited, right? Then this company, Angelini, stores contact records uh, you know, for immutability. The last case is this company uh, tracks workflow activity to for immutability again. So you can see that these are all cases where there's data that needs to be kept in a non tempered way so they can carry out their business processes. Blockchain, as to Oracle's unique maximum security architecture. Architecture contains blockchain tables, database firewalls provides deep monitoring of database messages. Database vault prevents administrators from accessing application data. Label security and, virtu and virtual private databases provides database enforced role level security. Transparent data encryption protects your data if it should, should it be accidentally 
access. Well, data reduction obscures sensitive data so that applications can still operate on data without seeing the sensitive data. Then we also have the data safe cloud service that does security assessments, monitoring, auditing as a service. Okay. So this is our comprehensive maximum security architecture and blockchain augments this. And likewise, there's Key Vault that stores, that does encryption key management, storage and lifecycle management. It is important to, 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 to emphasize that the Oracle Converge database supports all leading edge data workloads, right? And blockchain tables is a part of our Converge database. The Converge database also offers native JSON support, offers microservices support, supports spatial data, event processing, machine learning, CICD, graph analytics, REST APIs, text data, right? And all of this is made in a single database, so you can use all these data types together. To summarize, blockchain and Oracle database address real-world data protection challenges faced by enterprises and governments. We prevent, we immutable tables are designed to prevent illicit insider changes. Blockchain tables are designed to detect illicit hacker changes. The distributed digest designed to detect authority ordered illicit changes, and data signing prevents an impersonator data fraud. And these are all free features of the Oracle Converge database. And they can be deployed incrementally with minimal application changes. Um, here are some additional resources about things you can find out more. There's a blog about blockchain use cases and so forth. There's a hands-on lab where you actually try these things out on your own. There's additional, there's pointers to our blockchain documentation. And at this point, I want to conclude by thanking you for listening. And I hope you have uh, a good rest of your day. Thank you.